Good morning, this is Dave Lorenzo with the ITC. This morning I wanted to take a few minutes to show you some of the new features that will be in the Building Information Special Interest Group. These features were donated by Microsurvey. They've created these features for their customers for some of their products in its basic uh, wall door and window creation. So let's take a look and see what, what we've got here. We've gone through and created some new ribbons here for these new features. So I'll just go ahead and start grab a wall here and as I drag it out I can see the wall dimensions on the screen. This is just shown in the current units so you can just kind of drag and drag and drop these out here. Uh, and I'll just kind of do this quickly. Okay. Let's go in. We'll uh, drop in a door, a couple windows, stuff so you can see how that looks. Let's do a double door here. So I can drag this out, locate it where I want. You can see how the dimensions are updated, so it kind of shows its location in the wall. I can click on this then, and I can come in and set the width. So let's make that six feet. Well, it's not in the right place anymore. I can just kind of grab it and relocate it. Uh, I can also use my grips to, you know, stretch this out. I can change the swing orientation. Let's do a single door so you can see kind of how that works as well um, as far as changing the orientation. So the different grips that we have here. So we can flip it this way, flip it this way. You know, use the, the grip to locate it. So you can see pretty powerful, very quick, easy to, to drop drag drag and drop stuff on. We have a variety of different door styles, wall styles. These wall styles support different types of intersection cleanup. So that's one of the things I didn't actually show. If I come in and and just I'm gonna turn my snap off here and just draw just draw a couple walls. As I drag and drop these, they automatically do the intersection cleanups over the top of other walls. And then certain walls have different priorities. So like a foundation wall is going to cut through uh, all the other walls here. You can see they don't uh, actually clean up. Again, if you come in here, you remove something, you erase it, uh, everything is automatically cleaned up. Same thing if you drop in your you know, doors and windows and such, they're going to automatically clean up the walls as well. Let's just throw in a couple windows here so you can see how that works. I'm going to do some different window styles. Let's do a single hung window here and a casement. No, let's just do a single casement. And then we'll just come and take a look at these from a different angle. So you can see these are also in 3D. Let's change our view and we'll look at this in a realistic uh, view here. So these are also modifiable. So um, if I go to select this from the properties pane, you can see there's a variety of settings. We have this the style, so it can change this from double to say double double hung. So now you can see the, the swing here it goes um, inside the area as well. You can change the opening percentage here. I can make this 120, make it wider. Same thing with our windows here. We have all these different window styles that we can choose from. Big variety of window styles as well as we can change the opening percentage here. I'll change this to uh, say 50. So you can see the window open will do the same thing here for the casement window. 50. I can change the um, the height. We'll make that 40. Make the width say 50. Again you can you know drag these around and change the locations of them and so forth as well as you want to. So this kind of gives you an idea. Um, also the windows are set up they're transparent with the glass is transparent. And these styles are set up so that uh, the door and window styles and wall styles are set up so that they automatically create their own layers. So let's just take a look at that real quick. There's a variety of different layers that are set up. So you can control, for example, here's the, the 3D um, layer for the window glass. And you can see it's 40% transparent. So if you want to increase the transparency or come in here and change the colors for the walls or the, the sashes and things like that. Um, you have some control over that. However, you can't really create new styles. We don't have a, a, a styles dialog per se where you can come in and define new styles with different sash widths and frame widths and 
whether or not it draws mullions and uh, all the different types of styles. This is just a very simple implementation at this point. Uh, let's go zero, I'll close that. So we do have a variety of styles to choose from, but it's a, a, a solid set. There's, there's not really anything you can do to add new styles here. Now, of course, programmatically, as members, the, the code for creating new styles is really very simple, pretty easy to add stuff. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you want to come in and add new styles and stuff uh, as well. So um, we do have a little bit of a problem here with the way th the facets are modeled on the walls. So this is actually correct. If I come here, I'll just show you real quick what we're looking at. If I render this with a render, you can see everything really is OK, but the normals are not all in alignment. And so in OpenGL, we get a strange reaction here when we, we do a realistic rendering. And this is just an ODA problem. We've logged a bug for that. There's a series of faces that are used to create this wall surface. And all of those faces have to have the same normal alignment. And that's not happening here. So you can see these walls look fine. But when it starts to get complex, um, there's a problem. So we've logged a bug for that. Hopefully we'll get that fixed before we release. We'll see but that is an ODA bug. So there's also uh, slabs. Let's take a look. Oh, I just wanted to show real quick too that, um, check this out. We've got the new tool palettes and we've got these guys on the tool palettes now as well. So that's kind of fun. We'll have a an early implementation of tool palettes that will be in Telecad 9. It won't have all the drag and drop functionality that you want for working with blocks but there will be you know drag and drop functionality so you can create your own palettes and set up your own uh, commands but we we will be limited to commands and not uh, content so but that'll be coming but it's still pretty cool to see it it's it's working pretty well uh, so these are our standard um, architectural desktop doors and windows objects and styles. So if you bring this over into AutoCAD architecture, it's going to recognize these. You'll be able to support grip editing, be able to add um, new openings in, into these walls uh, and be able to you know, modify these styles as well. Um, of course, there's grips and things on the walls as well and the walls have properties. So you can come in and make some changes to walls too to find the, the cleanup radius. Of course, you have the style information that you can change, whether or not the, you want to change the width, the base height, um, and then you also have your, your grips as well that you can kind of control some things with grips too. So you can do quite a bit with um, just the grips and the properties pane and the styles. This is it uh, for wall stores and windows. Of course, there's a lot more here in terms of the different styles that are available to you. And of course, you can do any width, height, combination. Again, with the doors, there's a lot of different uh, styles there as well. I think it's pretty much going to cover all the different types you need. Um, bifold, double bifold, accordion doors, double opposing, communicating door. This is kind of the hotel, kind of classic hotel door. Overhead, garage doors. So just a lot of different choices here. And then a few specialty doors like a pentagon, half round trapezoid. Uh, there's a gothic as well style so a lot of choices there and then other types object types that we have um, we also have slab objects that are supported we can also convert basic geometry so if I come in here and just draw some rectangles or lines or polylines I can convert those into walls as well just draw some stuff convert it we'll say yes we'll delete it and we've converted those into walls and same thing with a slab, we can create a, a polyline. Oops, let me turn my ortho off here. Close that. See, this is a slab that we you know, want to convert to a slab. Can select this, <clears throat> give it a thickness. So yes, we're going to delete that. So now we have this as a slab object. If we come in here, we can change some information about it say 12 inches. So this is pretty much it. There's also roof slabs and these are really the same thing as a slab. It's just it's identified as, as a roof object rather than a slab object uh, for AC purposes. 
for estimating, things like that. Let's go copy. And we'll just grab this guy and make a few copies here. You can see <clears throat> as you do, you know, copy, cut and paste, that it automatically, you know, fixes the walls, does the cleanups. So that's kind of basic stuff. It's easy to cut, cut copy, paste, and move things around. Um, you can also do things like, let's do a copy this guy here, and we'll just plop it up there, and I can do an extend. And then we can extend these guys up to it. So it, there are a few, you know, commands that we support currently, and there's some others that we still have to add. We, we're not currently supporting fillet or chamfer or some of those other basic things, but I'm hoping that we can work on uh, implementing implementing those um, um, in this release. So that's my quick run through, and uh, these are all in the current builds. If you want to play with it. <clears throat> Just install one of the IntelliCAD 9 professional builds and you'll see all this functionality is available for testing. Again, it's on the, the draw menu uh, over in the AC objects and then also uh, you can see them in the tool palettes. It's also on the menus. If I put the menu bar up, you'll see it here in AC objects in the draw menus. And we also have uh, toolbars for these as well. So you'll see like uh, doors, where are they? See doors and uh, windows and walls also. We've got uh, three different toolbars that will support these objects too. So enjoy, send us your feedback, let us know what you think. Thanks.